Hello again, friends. During these days, we need to give thanks for one another and all we have and pray for each other. The Bible encourages us in this endeavor in this way. I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. Do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Oh God, you made us in your own image and you've redeemed us through your son, Jesus Christ. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts, break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony. Amen. Loving God, we pray today for those folks who are often on the edges of our community and too often forgotten. Grant that all those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps, they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Look with mercy on all whose increasing years bring them weakness, distress, or isolation. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and their willingness to accept help. And as their strength diminishes, increase their faith and their assurance of your love. Amen. Oh God, you heal the brokenhearted and turn the sadness of the sorrowful to joy. Remember with compassion all those who are this day destitute, homeless, infirm, or forgotten. Lift up those who are cast down. Befriend innocent sufferers. Cheer with hope all who are discouraged and downcast. And by your heavenly grace, preserve from falling those whose poverty tempts them to sin. Though they be troubled on every side, suffer them not to be distressed. Though they are perplexed, save them from despair. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people. Continue in our hospitals your gracious work among us. Console and heal the sick. Grant to the physicians, nurses, and assisting staff wisdom and skill, diligence and patience. Prosper their work, O Lord, and send down your blessing upon all who serve the suffering. Amen. Who can we reach out to today and put hands and feet to our prayers? Let's have a great day doing that.